The Guardian recently published an article falsely claiming Julian Assange praised Donald Trump, dogged Hillary Clinton, and that the WikiLeaks founder had a close relationship with Vladimir Putin. The author, Ben Jacobs, didn't offer any evidence to back up those claims. Jacobs also wrote in his interview with La Republica, Assange said there was no need for WikiLeaks to undertake a whistleblowing role in Russia because of the open and competitive debate he claimed exists there. The Intercept's Glenn Greenwald immediately called out The Guardian for their falsehoods, saying that they play into the biases of Clinton supporters. He also says it flatters their central narrative, which is that Clinton lost because the Kremlin used its agents like Julian Assange to favor Trump. Greenwald goes on to say, the article makes it seem as though Assange is heralding Russia as such a free, vibrant, and transparent political culture that in contrast to the repressive West, no whistleblowing is needed, all while praising Trump. But Greenwald says those claims were made up, despite all of the tension it received. The day after Greenwald blasted the Guardian's article, they issued a retraction, as WikiLeaks points out here. They removed and amended several statements that they say would provide a better description. But as Greenwald points out, the damage is done. The original article with all its falsehoods was tweeted and retweeted thousands of times. The retractions not likely to receive the same amount of attention. Another prime example of fake news going viral. Greta Van Susteren recently wrote an op-ed for the LA Times about fake news. She says fake news is hardly a new phenomenon. She says for decades Americans have had an appetite for fringe stories. What is new is a propensity for large segments of society to believe things that are clearly untrue. But Van Susteren also pointed out how deceptive some publications are because, as we've seen today, fake news stories sound so much like actual news stories.